Hey, Sean. Hey, what's going on, Joel? You got a beer for me? Thank you. What? You're very welcome. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Yay. It's one thing to go and drink a beer at a bar. It's another thing to meet the people behind it, to see the ingredients, to smell the beer being, you know, boiled. That creates this whole other connection that is so much more than just a drink in a glass. Let's go have a beer. Brewery is a very special place and, and I always tell everybody nothing sounds or smells like a brewery but a brewery. If you have a small town and you have a small pub or a little bar like this, it's a gathering place. Like minds get together, beer gets creative, minds start working and that's how it works. And beer makes that happen. Beer I, is the scene. And that's the great thing about small breweries too because we've had so many customers come in here that never drank any craft. But they wanted to support us because we're here. Now all they drink is craft. The way that this industry has survived for 30 years has been breweries that have focused re religiously on the quality of the beer itself. We embrace what we do. We love beer, we love working, and so when the idea came up of starting a brewery in Alaska, it became an obsession. So, this is the brewery. This is, are you ready for the big tour? A lot of breweries you go to, you see big tanks, and you see kind of these things behind walls, and you wonder what they do. You just basically need grains, clean water, and yeast to make beer. Hop profile in, hops give the beer character and flavor. Add the yeast, it makes beer. So, sounds simple, but it's really not, but it is. Let's go check out some hops. Well. So you can just uh, reach in here, grab a handful. Are you serious? I can just... Yeah. Ah. Rub them like this. Okay. Then we'll break them up. So I'll open this up and kind of let you get your, get your nose in there and tell me what you smell. Whoa, just so smoky. We uh, steep the grains in hot water for about 45 minutes and that's what's called mash. Basically what we're doing is removing all the sugars from the grain. And then we have to ferment it. Fermentation is essentially, you know, what ensures the survival of humanity. I sense there's a lot of beer science happening around here. So Just beer enough. science. Cheers. <laughs> if we had no understanding of science, we would think it was truly like magic. It's very difficult to make the same beer precisely over and over and over. But that's kind of the terroir of it. Right? A little bit. It really is. I want variation. I want something unique. Beers are sort of like your children. You know, they're all unique and they're all different. You love them all. And new beer ideas can come from anywhere. I mean, <laughs> I name an ingredient. Someone has so. probably put it in a beer. So. <laughs> That's the fun part about making beers, you know, the, the palate variety that you get out there is huge. You know, I guarantee I can find a beer that you like. Do you remember your first American craft beer? Sierra Nevada? Pale Hell, absolutely. To this day, they're one of my favorite craft beers in the country. It's the, the Desert Island beer. This beer undoubtedly started the craft beer revolution in the first place. We were at the beginning of the craft beer revolution. The Alaskan Amber, our first beer, was actually a, a throwback to 100 years prior to our starting. It's cold fermentation of an ale, which mm. was the precursor to like the lager revolutions. We thought the Dortmunder was a great entree into craft beers. It starts malty and it's got a slight dry finish, so it's a very balanced, beautifully crafted golden lager. I'm getting thirsty thinking about it. Kilt Lifter is our flagship beer. You can't go wrong with Kilt Lifter. It's really approachable. It pairs with every kind of food, and it has a really great caramel flavor, some toffee. It has a little hop just to balance out that sweetness of the wort. And then it's super dry and clean, and makes you want to have another sip. I want another sip. So what are we drinking here? So this one is, uh, it's called Popsicle Blonde. This is being out in Arizona. We cater a lot of our beers, kind of be a lighter, crisper, because we have sunshine more than rain. This is by far one of our most popular beers. You know, there's a guy out here with his leather jacket and his pit bull. He's, oh yeah, he's got yes. two, he's got two pitches of popsicles in there. <laughs> the lighter beer in this case is our champagne lager, which is a take on the American light lager. A little bit less bitter and a little bit hoppier than your normal lager. When you want something a little bit more flavorful on the back nine, you go for the shape lump. I think you always go for champagne. We got a Grzyski here. They call it like the champagne of Poland. We call it babushka, but it's a oak smoked wheat beer, an old style that's just kind of come back in the last year or so. We've got our Beehive Brown, which is a British Miles type of beer. And I'm actually most proud of that beer because it's super dark and it almost scares people who don't like dark beers, but then when I give them a taste, they say, oh, that's 180 from what I thought it was gonna taste like. The next is Notorious Double Ants. It's an IPA based off of 
the uh, Hatfield side of the feud. And then we have another one when you're drinking, which is the McCoy side of the feud. Old Randall is named after old uh, Randolph McCoy. I love it when uh, McCoy really enjoys the Hatfield side, and mm. then uh, Hatfield really enjoys the McCoy side, and it kind of like settles the feud. Beer settles feuds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only does it bring people together, yeah. it settles the Hatfield and McCoy feud. Yes. <laughs> What we aspire here to do is make beer that's gonna be very unique to our land, unique to the season that we're making it, and then unique to the people who are, are brewing here. This is a beer where we don't even add yeast. We just expose it to nature. Every single batch is a product of just one place and one time, never to be recreated again. I'm having a moment with this one. I've never had anything like this. <laughs> it's a moment in time. This is Uinta's 5% flagship cutthroat pale ale. Classic pale ale with piney and floral notes. It's very, very um, outdoorsy. Yeah. A lot of brewers, I feel like it kind of comes with the territory. They're outdoor people, so they, they get out into nature a lot and they want to preserve what's there. We make beer that we want to drink, and since we're outside, that's how we enjoy our beers. Our motto at Greenbrier Valley Brewing Company is to get out, explore, and bring beer. And part of that mission too is conservation. The existential crisis of global climate change is apparent to us every single day. And that creates an acute appreciation for the finite resource that we have in water. Obviously water use is a huge deal for a brewery, anything that we don't use in the process. We recirculate and reuse. We did a wastewater challenge, took wastewater and treated it so it was potable again and pumped it into a tank and brewed a beer with it. The water tasted better than our tap water. We have embraced a mash filter press, which is like an espresso machine. It actually presses out all of the goodness. Once again, saving water, saving waste grain. We replace 50% of our fossil fuel use with spent grain as our primary fuel. We use our own waste stream to create our beer. Brewers, because we're ultimately an extension of the agriculture industry, we have a very keen sense and sensitivity towards the energy we consume and, and giving back to production and agriculture. We use the spent grain after our brew process to make dog treats. All of our spent grain, pulling the sugar to make work, we send out to the farm, feed the cows, and then... Oh, so cool. Then... The cows are so happy. Yeah, and then when the cows get processed, we'll use the meat from the cows, yes. and it'll be this nice little loop. Sustainability means putting back into the earth more than what we're taking from it. Most of us have kids or have, you know, next generation that we care about and we know it's the right thing to do. And why not do it while we're making beer, right? <laughs> and drinking beer. Right, right. <laughs> the mission has always remained the same, to do our best to represent the state, create wonderful brews that everybody can be proud of, and do it clean, do it sustainably. Most companies, they take something, they make something, and they waste it. And we think take, make, and remake is prudent. Good planets are hard to find, right? The details really matter. You know, if you've got passion and pride, the details are very easy because you're going to want to get them right. And that's sort of what sustainability, the essence of it is, is if you take care of all those little 1% things, they do you know, ultimately add up to be something big. People talk about sustainability like it's some political thing. Whether you're Republican, a Democrat, an Independent, you probably drink beer. Beer is one of these things that just brings people together. For me, it's camaraderie, being creative, and watching people drink what we make and labor for every day. We think you should do work that stirs your soul. We think you should have fresh local ingredients and we want to strengthen community as well. That whole ethos of working hard, being independent, staying true to the city that grew you means a lot to a lot of people around here. It's shared values of us and the people around us that have built us. This is our industry and this is what we do. We're super passionate about it. You're bringing people yeah. together yeah. and you're creating a community where people yeah. can connect and find support and love and I think it's beautiful. It so, is beautiful. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers. 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 Yay. Cheers. Cheers. It sounds like the perfect way to start the morning. <laughs> cheers. cheers. You never live the same day more than once. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Beer is the scene. Beer is the scene. Beer Cheers is to the scene. that. Cheers.